Welcome everybody to a legacy video. I have uh, enjoyed uh, playing Elves a lot lately. In paper, I recorded a Channel Fireball video with it. I went 5-0, but I still didn't uh, play it on my YouTube channel. So I'm very excited to do it because I really think that uh, this deck is, is good right now. I actually do think that. Uh, this is not just Elves like it used to be with uh, Nettle Sentinel, Queer Ranger, and things like that. It's not playing any of those, it's playing Elvish Reclaimer, and it's much, much more mid-range. Kind of like a black-green rock. You have Grist, to choose her up with Zenith. You have four Endurance in the sideboard that come in very often. And you even have this Shriek Maw, which sounds like weird, right? Like, what's going on? Is this a proxy or anything? No, it's a, actually a real card, and I'm going to be playing in my Legacy deck. Because it kills Merc that Regent, it kills Chandler, it kills Delver, it kills Ledger Shredder. As well as being able to tutor it up with one step at a time, you can cantrip off of Glimpse. It's actually a good card. Shadow Fury, thank you for the fifth, fifth month. You also have Progentus Main, which is uh, uh, might not be amazing sometimes when you draw it. But uh, so, some other times, your opponent kills all your creatures and you just want to have one progenitus. Plus, there's uh, some um, mill decks like Painter, and progenitus uh, lets you get an extra turn there. Yeah, rest of the deck is Spice for 4 Cradle, 4 Alizar Shepherd. The reason why this deck is able to win games. Let's get into a Legacy League. Thanks to Reclaimer, you have this little uh, toolbox engine of uh, Dried Arbor, Bojikabog, Caracas. I mean, there's some list that still play Queer Ranger and Natural Sentinel. In fact, Olerade came uh, second in Sunday Challenge with Elves, without Reclaimer. But I believe, uh, I, I, I like this version better. If you want to check out my deck list, you can go to some issue mark deck and you'll find all the deck lists that I play on stream and in my channel video. Um, I've honestly practiced the matchup against Blue Red Delver a lot. You take out Oof, three Natural Order, Behemoth, and Progenitus. That's six. I sometimes take out one Glimpse or one Heritage Druid and you bring in three Shriek Maw or Endurance. As easy as that. Yeah, you go pure mid-range, and you actually win the, the, the post-cyber games. The Endurance is unbelievably good. Like, once you have the Endurances, you only lose to Merc Tide. So that's why the 3 Shriek Maw. It's kind of strange that you can't tutor it up with Zenith, the Shriek Maw. Maybe we should have a... Uh... Is there... I mean, I know there's a Spider for 5 mana kills a Flyer. Maybe there's a cheaper card that kills a flyer as well. I don't know. Five mana, two five spider kills a flyer. That's that's too much for a legacy. Arashi, what's that? Arashi. No, I was thinking about um, a, a 2-5 uh, Uncommon Spider. Run the Fool? Yeah, but I was thinking about cards that you can tutor up with Zenith. Crawler Pooner. That's true. Crawler Pooner. I wonder. I wonder if this, is, this should be played. Alright, final opponent. Okay, let's go. On the play. That's a keep. I got turn one Lanner Elf. You're like, wait, man, there's no Lanner Elf here. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's here. Go. 
Kogla, but it could cost 6 mana, I don't want to play Kogla. Ah, so many combo decks in these leagues. Painter. Funny enough, it's the, 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 the matchup I played last night with a friend of mine. Uh, no land, unfortunate. A glimpse of nature. It doesn't even kill the Merc type, right. Then I go Symbiote. Oh wow, they power blast this. Thank god it didn't kill my land. Thank god it didn't kill my wait. I thought that you could activate his ability, but I guess you needed to have an elf to return. I thought it was uh, like we're a ranger. All right, learning things. Goblin welder, attack for one. No attack. Okay. Let's go. Virtual ranger, not bad. So I can go. Virtual ranger. Heritage Druid. Then I can add mana. Return on tap. Nah, that doesn't do anything. It's so annoying, Painter 7 and Magic Online. It just makes all these cards look so awful. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I could return an Elf and untap Dryad, but I guess it's not the worst. Return an elf. I'm oh, sorry, untap. Return. Now I can play more elves here. What's my favorite card? I don't know. Don't have it. Don't have the answer ready, I'm sorry. I'm gonna play a reclaimer. I think now I've done all I could have done. Unfortunately, the glimpse is in the graveyard. We can kill me any time. If they draw part protein, no, sorry. Uh, what's the word? Grindstone. They can even kill me if they draw open engineer. I guess they need one mana then. The golden welder switch the great furnace with engineer with um, grindstone, but they need a mana. It's not that I do anything next turn anyway. I mean, I have Bazooka Bog in my deck to stop the Welder. If they pass. Yeah, Progentus gets me an extra turn, but I don't, I don't use it now. Yep, they have the Engineer. Let's see what they do now. They put Grind the Sun in the graveyard. And they twin shot sniper my wire symbiote. Alright. Rip. I'm hoping they don't tap welder now. They do. Draw. Okay. Um, I think it's a perfect time to get Bazooka Bog here. So, how do I do it? I'll go over to Druid. Get three mana. Play Visionary. Huh, it's also not bad. And then I can just get Bazooka Bog.
They have one card in hand. Uh, I don't want to play this Bazaju because that's a great answer to Ensnaring Bridge or whatnot. Okay. They go for Karn. Till they tutor up. Lotus Special. They can well their twin shot sniper. They have no cards in hand. Yep. Bro. Hmm. Uh, what do I do now? So the Reclaimer can become a 3-4. Hmm. I guess what I can do is... Um... And that Twin Shell Sniper is annoying, huh? Very annoying. I guess I can make my Reclaimer 3 4s next turn if I if I channel the Bozeju. I can just attack with two Reclaimer to kill Car and they block one. I go Bozeju on uh, a Great Furnace. And then they have no artifacts in play. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So I attack Karn with both of these. I'll be able to leave them without artifact. I mean, obviously that still means that I could lose the game. I think I'm getting a forest, though. I'm a little bit afraid of... Uh, Ma Magus of the Moon or something like that. And I'll kill the Great Furnace. So that my... Ebish Eric Klimmer become 3-4. I kill this thing, kill Karn. Now they have no artifacts left. Go. They have no artifact left and they're, they're in top deck mode. Looks like they passed, so they didn't draw well. Order? Symbiote. Okay. Uh, Symbiote. Hmm. Let's play Symbiote. I'll uh, untap Dried Arbor. Actually. I could just attack with a Reclaimer and then untap a Reclaimer. Probably better. No, that's not better. So Reclaimer has to get Cradle? Hmm. Let's, let's just draw a card here. Okay, I can cast that one as well. I want to top Visionary for mana first. Yeah, I should have done that. Should have top Visionary for mana for sure. Do I need a Cradle next turn? Because I could get Cradle now, topping. Um... Although I think attacking, attacking is so nice. All right, let's just cast this. Draw. Maybe I would have drawn Cradle. I just want to attack, and next turn they're dead. Unless they want to chum block. Yeah, I mean, if I drew a land, I could have got to uh, untap those in my opponent's turn to get Cradle. I, I, I didn't. Painter Servant. And the Red Lament of Blast. Madonna mia, ma come painter? Okay. Um, do I want to bounce the Visionary? No, nah, not really. I kind of want to attack here.
Draw. Natural order. Alas or Shepherd. I had a cradle though. I cradle. Would have been better. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had Credo, would have been better. I think I'll play Visionary first. Draw a card. Could be Credo. They have no cards in hand, but they can, of course, uh, switch Painter Servant with Twin Shell Sniper. Behemoth. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here, if I attack with everybody, let's say I attack with 1, 2, 3, 4, four 5, 6. So what they do is uh, they can twin shell sniper, they can tap the welder to twin shell sniper a one one, then they can block. They chump block with the twin shell sniper here, eat this, and they, and they take five damage down to two. I feel like I should attack with all here. I feel like I should attack with all here, or I can play defensively, and uh, go get cradle. To win the game next turn. Maybe maybe passing the turn now is actually better. So the next turn I just play all or Shepherd activated with Cradle and win. Yeah. I think passing here is fine. And next turn we win. Even just Behemoth. So they switch those two. Okay. Initial sniper, let's see what I kill. They kill Birch Lore and I have to use it. Yeah. And pass. They drew Goblin Engineer. Hmm. So they can go for an engineering bridge now. Sì, però poi non potete pescare una merda di terra, cazzo. No, Goblin Engineer. Ai ai ai. I've only one Bosage now left. As an out. If they go for bridge. They go for grindstone? Wait, no way. Why did they go for grindstone? I guess they want me to kill next turn. They don't play bridge. Okay, GG. Can't be countered. Not that relevant. This cradle art is amazing. Nah, the old one is much better. With the fairies in the middle. Like, look at the look at the old art. Look at the old art. Die. Can't can't beat the art. Although like Yeah, you know, trees, the fury's in the middle. Amazing art. What's the difference in price between these two? Alright, anyway, let me let me kill my opponent here. Woo hoof! Close game, eh? Very close game.
Very close game. This was game one. This is so old. So long. Alright, now, actually yesterday, I didn't really come up with a conclusion on how to sideboard. I do think that uh, Endurance are really good. But I don't think I want Thoughts or Shriek Maw. Oh, the Shriek Maw, like, the Goblin Welder. Such a problem for this deck. I think the way I sideboarded was I trimmed uh, all of these. They have Fury Poseid. What if I actually do this? What if I do this? Bring in three Shriek Mod, three Endurance, four Endurance. Try. Let's try this. Glimpse is a little bit bad when the opponent. Um, Kills all your stuff. Maybe not. Eh? Maybe you should never take a glimpse, but I did. Let's see how it goes. Let me check the gas cradle price on Magic Online. Yeah. I could have I could have gotten this one. Instead of this one. GG. Alright. No lands mulligan. Crop rotation? Hmm. Maybe I should have brought in crop rotation, yeah. Elves seems hard to play. Yeah, definitely. Alright, this is like easiest mulligan ever. I even have projectors in hand. Thank you, Londo Mulligan. I'll always appreciate you putting me back, Crater Hoof. So I have all the I have all the Shriek Maw in the deck now because the Goblin Welder is such a pain. It really is such a pain. Definitely the best card in the matchup for them, I think. Put back Dried Arbor over Hoof. Nah. I mean you can cast Dried Arbor. You can't really cast the Hoof. I mean sure you can, but. Hmm. Okay, Saga. And pass. No wasteland for us. You hate having Arbor in your hand. I mean, it's a land. It's not, it's not an A drop. Wow, you want Twin Shells Never with a pedal. Huh, do you have an Ancient Tomb? Don't have it. No! Any guys, Gretel? This is a matchup where the Collector Oof uh, very relevant, of course. Yeah, I could have gone, uh... No, I think it's fine. Yeah, opponent goes, uh... For Mopal. Okay, the four cards in end. Attack me. Hope not to draw Shriek Maw, that would be awful. What do I hope to draw? I don't know. Electro oof? Nah, not even. Tough game. I... My hand uh, really didn't evolve. I only drew lands. Okay, I was Uh, not the worst. I can go Symbiote. I can go... Um... What if I just go Cradle? I'll go Alizar Shepherd. 
I'll go cradle, tap, then I will uh, uh, tap a creature and return an elf and play it. Draw. Okay. And then I pass. I can block and bounce. Kevilin, thank you for the fifth month. I appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you. Uh, a braid? Hmm, annoying. Do I return a visionary? Yeah. Next turn I can go top two visionary. Mr. Rainforest, Grist. Does the Heritage Druid change things? I actually don't think it does. I'm gonna go Visionary first. And then I wanna go just Grist. Make a token. And pass? Yeah, pass. I don't even need to attack for one. They play Brea's Apprentice. Makes a Thopter and then sacrifice an artifact. And you can uh, exalt up two cards. Yeah. Hey, the constructs are six except to chum block one. So one of the two life. Maybe I should chum block both. Yeah, maybe I should chum block both. But then I die to the Thopter, right? Because this one can pump it. Once upon a time, cast it. I found a Shriek Maw, which has literally no target. I found a Collector Oof. I guess it's not bad. Grab it. Then I can play. Um, Plus one. Right Arbor. Play. Heritage Druid. And Collector Oof. And I pass once again because I think I need to Chum Block again. There's only three creatures in my yard. They play another Braze Apprentice, which isn't legendary. The constructs are both lethal. You chump him. Who do you attack with? All of me. Okay. I'll go to five. Let's go. Draw spell. Okay, I have a short claimer. Pretty not bad. This is a seven seven with the shepherd. And I pass again. This is a two three, huh? I thought it was a two two. So now I can use others or shepherd and pump all my creatures. They're gonna be very large. Right, can pump it in defense as well. Yeah. The top turn for sure attacking. Yeah, yeah, no, this three. Still good enough. Maybe they don't. Okay, no, they do attack. Sure.
So we're killing a construct. Press the integrity flyers. Okay, Bazeju. Interesting. I have six creatures in my graveyard. I think opponent has to block both of my elves here. If they team block, I can always besage you, so I think it's good. So I send. Actually, I shouldn't have used Grist. Yeah, I made a mistake. Mm. No. no. I think it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine. So now I can both uh, top cradle and leave up. Uh, sorry, activate Shepherd and leave up the insect token. Okay, so the next turn opponent dies to Grist uh, Emblem. Or ultimate. They wouldn't have died to Grist Ultimate because there was only five five creatures, six creatures in the graveyard. Uh yeah, that's that's alright. I pass. Wanna miss Lethal lol. I was always like so fool when you never wrote these messages. But that's okay. There is a collector oof in play. But that's fine. Okay, so they attack with the Thopter. Uh, no block. I'm fine going to four, right? Yeah. They passed. Let's go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Two. Zero over over Very cool game. We managed to just grind our way to a victory with our little elves. I think if the opponent game one would have gotten the ensnaring bridge, I would have lost it though. But it didn't happen, so we got the win. Michelino. Hmm. Michelino. What do they play, Michelino? My own super medium. Michelino, I remember him playing a blue dex in Vintage against me. So I'm gonna assume that Elzer Shepherd is good against them. I'm gonna keep this awful end. Big fan of keeping bad ends. Knowing the Magic Online meta game very well. Recognize name. I don't even I don't even need to check on MTG Goldfish. Like 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 some people do. We just know. Okay, this could be Blue Red Delver, which again is a matchup I've really tested a lot. I'm running out of fetchable lands, by the way. I only have six fetchable lands and eight fetches. So my experience, game one against Lure Delver is bad, game two and three is good. That's my experience testing the matchup. Stand still. Hey, we have Dread Arbor. And we have also Progenitus. Stand still says uh, nobody can move. It's better to play turn one wire symbiote. It might be. No, I must buy Yato. I misclicked. I was supposed to take Dread Arbor. It's alright. I think since they went for Urza Saga, I can't really go for. Uh, I think I have to crack the, the standstill.
I think you have to crack the stand still. Really wish I had to try the Arbor in play. Really wish I had the Dried Arbor in play. Especially since Dried Arbor is like a top land. So if you tutor it up, if you fetch it, it... Um, like you, you, you don't get mad immediately. Like these two fetches have one Bayou and one Dried Arbor left to give me. So the, the, whenever I get the Dried Arbor, I can't make mine immediately. You were surprised to not see standstill in MH2. Yeah. Would have definitely seen playing modern. I mean, she's playing vintage and legacy, so. Clearly good enough for modern. They got a discard. That's cool. Got a land, probably. Me force. I don't know if they have no removals playing the deck. Hm, Reclaimer. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Well, I certainly can. Maybe I can attack, actually. Yeah, I think I don't mind trading with Urza Saga. Any of my any of my three creatures here. Maybe they trade the Shepherd. I have another one. Okay, construct trades with anything you want. Let me trade with that one. Reasonable. Uh, the one on top and get back the visionary. I think so. Visionary. Draw card. Cradle. There it is. Okay. What can I do? Uh, I can play the Symbiote. Play Cradle. Get three mana. I will uh, untap and return. Replay Visionary. And play Reclaimer. They might have Supreme Verdict here, of course. They get Pitting Needle. Okay, they're gonna name Symbiote. I didn't think about it. Maybe I could have bounced uh, the Visionary response with Symbiote. Actually, they can also name Alizar Shepherd if they don't have an answer for it. They named it Virus Symbiote. Okay. Then I can't use this anymore. They have seven cards in hand. Do they have a Supreme Verdict? They do. All right, everything's gone. Drop. The hoof. All right. Next turn, you can't come down, and it's uncomfortable. So scary. See what they do about this. Hello Kowalski, how's it going? It's going well, it's going well. We legacy day today. Search the plusher on my shepherd. Alright, rip. Now I can force off with my hoof. And I probably lose now. I probably lose now. Et I can't go for uh, 
I can go for a hoof actually. How much damage is that? Out of you, say 14. Not the worst. Yeah, let's go for the hoof. Again, they're probably gonna force it. Force pitch. Force pitch shark typhoon. Okay. I don't think I have many ways to win the game anymore now. Another shark? Okay. The... Um, the Supreme Verdict was definitely... Prismatic Ending... Eh, it's fine, I'll uh... I'll give it up, I'll give it up. Okay, and time to change our deck drastically now. Take out the natural order plan. Bring in Andrews and Thoughtseize. I definitely don't want to cut the glimpse. Maybe I just cut some elves. Yeah. My character druids. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Jenny Toos. Unfortunately, whenever you draw, it's pretty bad. Maybe it's always bad. I wonder... I don't know, sometimes I got it, sometimes I put it into play. Yeah, she just played two hoofs. Maybe she just played two hoofs. Keep. Keep. Let's go. Turn one, all those are Shepherd. Turn two, Glimpse, Cradle, Birchlore, Heritage Druid. I don't know, maybe. Birchlore is better than Heritage? I cited in for Thoughtseize. I cited in for Thoughtseize, so. I love Birchlore. Birchlore is nice. Okay, let's see how much damage can I do next turn. What's the opponent playing? Uh, standstill. Blue-white standstill. A control deck, you could say. Sure. Hmm. Here I can just go Glimpse. Yeah, I kind of- I really want to go Glimpse. Thoughts is not bad. I'm just in love with the ability of just playing one mana to draw two cards. Okay, do they plow you okay sure hey, do i want to put it back to my hand i don't want to 
Does it have a glimpse? Okay, so I will go fetch first. I want to fetch a land, a normal land, because of the Supreme Verdict. I don't want to get Dread Arbor. So I'll go Glimpse. I'll go... Right to Jury, draw a card. Birchlor Ranger, draw a card. Here it depends if I want to get greedy and get three green mana. Yeah, I think I will. Visionary draw card. Draw two cards, sorry. Nice. And then I can go Thoughtseize. Pretty good! Pretty good. It's funny to see a standstill in hand. Oh, but bleh. I lost everything. Okay, we're rebuild now. Pyroclasm was hidden on top of their deck with the. with the ponder. Pulam21! Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to Mega Stream. The thoughts is can discard the top of the deck. Very well known. You got yourself a espresso badge. Pulam twenty one. Thank you, thank you. We're going grist. Your go. Okay, ponder. In Grist, uh, we already have six creatures in the graveyard. Okay, opponent shuffles with ponder. Good to know. Good to know. Wow, brainstorm as well, okay. Very beautiful art from Dieter Lizzi. I was always wondering if this person name, if this person didn't have a name, or they just didn't want to put their name on the, on the art of one of the most iconic Magic the Gathering card ever. Does anybody know the answer? Okay, they passed, and I draw. Symbiote, not too bad. I don't think I should play Bajuka Bog here. His name is Tony Dieterlitzi. Okay, cool. Just didn't like to put his name uh, in the in the art, though. It's weird, but yeah, Tony. Tony. I don't want to play Symbiote. I feel like I have a board state already. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a. Hmm. Yeah, the the 
the token will come in. Yeah, I found that Robert Elf. I did. Prismatic ending on my grist. No. Good. And now at least I can Bajuka bug the Timeless Dragon. I had a stronger play on turn two? Yeah, it could be. And totally be. I'm gonna get Dried Arbor and just beat down since, uh... Yeah, don't have much else. Also, I sighted out... Hmm. I sighted out the... The natural order, so okay. So Timeless Dragon gets exiled, and I pass. I wanna, I wanna hold uh, a bunch of a bunch of people for this glimpse. No, you have a supreme verdict. All right, bro, preacher. Dai, come forest, ma porca boia. I think I have to do something, or my opponent just plays a standstill next turn. I have to get lucky here. Come on, elves. Elves. Problem is that if I didn't cast um, the symbiote, oh, they go four speed sharp typhoon. Wait, they didn't stand still to shuffle it away. Oh, okay, they have no cards in end though. I mean, not that they have much either, but I guess I'd Bozage for standstill. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I would love to draw an endurance to shuffle back my dried arbor. I have four endurance in my deck. Okay, opponent just goes land go. Not bad. I'll play once upon a time, maybe I find Elvish Visionary Endurance. Oh, you fought five mana force? First negation. Sure. Point is on six with no cards in end. We have the symbiote to protect the reclaimer. This Mr. Rainforest can't get any dried arbor because they're in the graveyard. But again, if I draw a Endurance, then I can fetch them, so I'll play land. Alright, if they break here, I win. Break? Break, Michelino, break. Let's see. Okay, game number three. Let's go. Bad. Good. We're gonna keep seven, unfortunately. No mulligan. Uh, what's the best thing on turn one? Probably just Reclaimer. They shuffle though, that's a good sign. Huh, don't mind a Birch Lore.
I always go for forest because I'm always scared of Blood Moon. I mean, I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. But um, I've lost a couple of games where I fetch Bayou for literally no reason. Wow, you go force Peach Shark Typhoon? Crazy. I'm a little surprised to see force uh, post cyber though, right? I guess they always kill the shepherd. What you on the bus, NJ? Sagra di Urza. Stand still. Okay, now it makes sense. Now it makes a lot of sense. Let me go visionary. And pass. Visionary draw visionary. Classic. Opponent has six cards in A. Let's see what they do. I've played a lot of Standstill at the beginning of Legacy. I was playing Soul Tie with uh, Jason and Sculpture, Leon Veil, or Nietzsche's Deed. Then Death Ray Shaman got printed, and Standstill was really bad. Because, well, the game just became all about killing Death Ray Shaman. And protecting Death Ray Shaman. But before those days, uh, it was good. It was good. Soltai, Soltai standstill. I can probably find a list because there's so many websites that. I mean, Gucci. I think we were calling J Slendeed. We were calling it that way. Yeah. April 2012. April 2012. Snapcaster Mage, Liliana Jace, this member go for the truth, Smother, Merda Smother in Legacy, Canis was 3 spells near, Brainstorm Force, Innocent Blood, Lightroom Alone, Stand Still, Pernicious Deed, or Mishra's Factory, because that was how you break the symmetry with the Stand Still. Cyber Tarmogoyf, not chill, last one for Surgical. Okay, and that was before Death Ray Shaman. Yeah. Hey, what did you do? Another standstill. Ah. Annoying. Rains and Zenith. Okay. What can I do now? That's good. I can go Visionary. I can go Visionary. Symbiote. Sorry. Virtual or something. I can guess Grist. I think I like to guess Grist here. So I go Birchlore. Birchlore. Symbiote. Wow, force of will. Okay. Then I go endurance. Chat, does Graftigger's cage stop uh, Zenith for Grist? Okay, to get rid of the foundry, that's fine. Pretty slow. Yes. Uh. But they don't have cage, so it's all right. They, they prismatic ending my birch lore. Why want to tuck their graveyard? Yeah, maybe they have Snapcaster Mage in their deck. Uh, I should have, uh, I should have let this res. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was a punt. I should have let the ending resolve and then uh, endurance them. Eh, whatever. Oh, 
Okay, thank you. They play another saga. They have five cards in hand. Just make a token. Okay. Not impressive. Drop. Hmm, thought sees. Um. Mm -mm -mm. I think you just want to go Grist here. I'm gonna go Grist, or maybe I can find Thoughtseize and then I... Because I can also go Thoughtseize. And then... Uh... No, I, I like Grist. I think Grist is good here. And it's exactly for this matchups. Do I want to offer the trade? Nah. Creatures are relevant for my credo. Okay, they just go land go. They have a construct. That's very large. Glimpse of nature, huh? Hmm. Let's begin with the thought seas. Make a token which will uh increase the cradle. And I go Glimpse, and I'll go Lanor Visionary, draw two cards. Okay, Reclaimer, draw a card. That's it. Now, do I want to attack with the Endurance? If I do, my opponent makes a Construct, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Then they double block. And I trade an endurance for a construct. I think it's a good trade. I think it's a good trade. Next time I can go Zenith for a Shepherd. And pump my elves for lethal, maybe. Opponent drew six cards off of a. Uh, off of uh, what's it called? Uh, the standstills, and we're still we're still doing it here. Oh, they just I didn't think about this. I could just block and turn this into a thopter. Yeah, I didn't think about this. That's all right. Trade for both if they double block. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so where to go with Saga? Maybe Pith and Needle on Grist. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If they double blocked, I could have killed both. I put him played well. Oh, 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 I, mean, I mean, again, played against the opponent in, in Vintage. Back in the days when I used to play Vintage. Yeah, I, I know opponent's good. They make a token or... Okay, it looks like they make a token. That's good. It means they didn't draw anything particularly good. They can pit and needle my, my grist. They do. Okay. No more grist emblem. Or rather, ultimate. Plat plateau. Their tokens are large. They pass. Draw. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I can go... Zinni for all or Shepherd. And then uh, activate it. I guess the Construct are bigger than my... Than my creatures. 
That's annoying. Very annoying gear. It seems like I can't really get through what's going on here, huh? Poof is in the sideboard. It's chilling in the sideboard. I don't even know what to Zenith for, honestly. I don't have a, I don't have much. I guess I can Zenith for the, the symbiote. Return an elf. On top of creature is worthless, but I will return an elf. I guess I should uh, just play it once upon a time first. Okay, so I will. Uh, On top, return an elf. Play visionary, draw a card. Play. Play what? Play a lizard shepherd. And pass. I guess I wanna tap this. To exchange this for a um, fetch land. So I deck the next turn. Pass. Can't use Grace because of Pitting Needle. Okay, to make a token. Their constructs are very large. My goal is to just... I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know how to win this game. Shepherd Activation. Shepherd Activation doesn't do much. They have uh, two 6-6s. Six I have uh, like three elves. I could have gone Shepherd Activation, Zenith for Shepherd Activated, but I just think that going for Symbiote Valley is slightly better now. What's that? Supreme Verdict? Chase the Sculpture. Better than all. Want a Dryad? So that if they have a Supreme Verdict, at least uh, I don't lose all my lands. Chasing my sculpture, <laughs> better than all. Better than all. If I had graced emblem ready, I could have maybe done it. But I don't. Okay, so they got island there instead of... Uh, I guess they wanna... They turned this into a... Anyway. On top. Fetch. Get forest. Ooh, I forgot to bounce... Ah, oh, I forgot to bounce a visionary end of turn. Managia chat. Okay, Thoughtseize. Hmm. Not the worst, not the worst. So here if I attack with my four elves, they're five fives. Maybe it's still good enough. Maybe it is still good enough. Huh? So let's just say I begin the turn by attacking with, with all creatures. Endurance goes in Jace. The rest goes face. Yeah, maybe. Actually, I'm happy I didn't bounce. Do I want to go Thoughtseize first? No, I don't want to. 
Let's go to combat. I think I don't want to wait more because it, the longer I wait, the worse it gets. So I want to attack with all of my opponents except the Endurance, which wants to attack Jace. Is that reasonable? No, probably not. Just gold face. So that opponent has to respect the... Opponent has to respect the... All the elves, right? Because that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. So they chump that one. And then they go block, block. They still take 5, 8, 11. Hmm. Maybe Symbiote should stay home, though. Can the opponent survive everyone's face? They, cr they certainly can, right? They just go block, block. This block here, this block there. And that's 12. I don't want to lose the symbiote. Let's go. Let's try this attack. I'm going all face here. Remember, I can't use Grace because of Needle. I don't know, maybe I could have gone on Jace here. Anyway, they're blocking the Shepherd. And then if you do a Chump Chump, and this one can block the Endurance. Okay. It's alright. It's not bad. Now I can tap the Cradle, use this ability. Now, I can uh, return, nah. I have two money in my pool, how do I use it? Do I just play an Endurance? Do I just play an Endurance or do I just waste the mana? You wanna bounce the Shepherd? You wanna bounce the Shepherd? Remember that, the Construct dies. I think I don't want to bounce the Shepherd. You guys want to bounce the Shepherd? Hmm. You guys want to bounce the Shepherd? Interesting. I didn't want to. Okay, so I can go bounce the Shepherd and then play Endurance. Okay, let's do that. Return on top of creature. This. Return an elf. Play, okay. Play endurance first. And then I untap, return. No, this got shrunk. No, Mengu, ma porca merda, ma sei un coglione. Vabbè. Totsies. Do they have a brainstorm? They do, okay. Poor Reclaimer. <laughs> He didn't deserve to die. No, I mean, I should just not target myself with the Endurance. That was easy. No, I don't mind this. I don't mind. I don't mind returning to Shepherd. Like, that's fine. They probably have like a Pyroclasm or something like that in end. Or on top now. Because they even have Jace to, to loot. I think I'm fine in this game. I'm fine. I mean, I should have had a 3-4 a in play instead of uh, bringing back some lands.
and pass. Are they attacking me? Okay. And return an elf on top. Oh, sorry. Cancel. On top of creature, return an elf. And a chum block. Because this is clearly meaning that they have some sort of removals sweeper. I don't block it with the endurance because of the pyroclasm. Okay, the, the Reclaimer Punt didn't matter. When it's two cards in the end, which are both uh, Timeless Dragons. Draw. Hey, this can hit the needle, actually. Huh. Wow, I win the game, maybe? Maybe I win the game. I can go... Shepherd. I can go Shepherd Visionary now. Or do I want to just kill the needle and start making tokens? Maybe. I just position the needle now. And I start making token. Yeah. We didn't endurance herself. Yeah, that's true. If the endurance herself, Bosage would have won. That's also true. Yeah, the endurance yourself play was uh, because I wanted to shuffle back lands because sometimes this deck runs out of lands to fetch for. But um, yeah, it was clearly not uh, relevant this game. That's okay. I mean. Hard games. I don't. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't mind making mistakes. Like, what do they do there? Four mana. I think if it's just timeless dragon, I win, right? I win here. It's kind of book endurance. That's six attack, attack. They go to one. And it's already good to zero. Hello, Searzist. How's it going? I saw that you 5 0 in in Pioneer. That's cool. With the Bent Company deck. I right, draw. I have the win here. Oh, we have Plow. I don't have the win anymore then. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? I think I want to play Elvish Visionary first. Draw a card. And then I want to go... I want to go... Mm, Grace counts itself. Yeah, but it's on six, so... I think I want to go Endurance, kill Timeless Dragon, attack face. If I kill Timeless Dragon, then I don't have Emblem anymore. Hmm. Maybe I should just pass and play Endurance. Yep. No, actually, I don't think so. I think I want to go Endurance, cast. Minus two. Target as a creature. Kill Thomas Dragon. Attack face for one. I have three minutes 33. I have to play faster. Six creatures in the yard. You plowed my endurance.
Can you flashback Timeless Dragon? Can you bounce my token? Reason Zenith. What does he get? What does Zenith get? I think I'm gonna just play Endurance though, right? I think I have to play Endurance. I don't think, uh... I don't think there's anything that the Zenith gets. You could have done it after? No, I don't think I could have. Maybe I, maybe I did. Yeah, maybe I could have. They pay 5. They play a Timeless Dragon. Okay. Think we got this? Think we got this? If one card in end, if it's not a plow. Think we got this? I think we got this. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Nice matches. Oof, mamma mia. Those were some uh some very some very good games. Pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, I'll take a bathroom break and I will be back for round number three with the elves. Currently 2-0. Okay, let's go. Let's go, round number three. With the grindiest of all the elves. The grindiest of all. Very good matches, very good matches. I don't know if my opponent uh, made uh, all the right choices. Maybe the block when I did that team attack wasn't, uh, wasn't the best. I don't know. Maybe I should have attacked uh, with Endurance Jace. The thing is that playing uh, Magic Online with the timer, it's very pressure because you are like, 
You have to make the right choice, and you have to not die of timing. It's more brutal than in paper, because if in paper you, you think for too long, you get a draw. Which is one point, whereas a loss is zero point. So, um, yeah, the, the magical line makes you really, it really pressures you into Into making, just making actions, just making actions. Yeah, great game so far. Definitely super fun. Um, super fun league. We played against Painter and now we just get control. I'm not even sure how's the matchup against control. I mean, they, they showed me like Pyrobla Pyroclasm. And Supreme Verdict, but you have so many ways to rebuild. Definitely think twice before for playing endurance and target yourself. That's the that's the, the takeaway from this game. Only do that if you don't have Gris, if you don't have Reclaimer, a Dried Arbor in the Graveyard, things like that. So I wonder if this deck should just not play Progenitus and just play two Hoofs. Eh? Probably, right? Should probably two Hoofs. Who's Progenitus good against? Good against uh, Mill, like Painter. It's good against um, bah, Blue Red Delver. Fair matchups. Yeah, but like the fair matchups also um like they have supreme verdict. It gives you a way to win with low resources. Yeah, yeah no, I know, I know. Although the problem the thing is that you cast oof so easily with this deck. It's top two cradle. And you got an oof. Hmm. Honestly, that's the only deck building choice that I'm still on the fence about. Everything else I, I like. I like the the one the collector oof. I was um, I wasn't very sold on it at the beginning. I think it's good. Why do I prefer Natural Sentinel or Reclaimer over Natural Sentinel? It's a good question. Um, this card sometimes very slow, especially in the um, Glimpse of Nature draws, but it's very good against Blue Red Delver. Very good plus sideboard. It gets Bajuka Bog against the Blue Red Delver. It's a big deal. Plus it's a 3 4 that doesn't die to Bolt. So often I just go all in on these with Zenith and just attack with 3 4s. You have a natural order to put Progenitus into play. This card is very often a side out. Like mostly whenever Endurance is good, natural order goes out. That's been my experience so far with this deck.
All right, final opponent. Let's go. Come on, please, please accept. Accept, please. Accept opponent, please. No. You said in crop rotation against depths. Yeah, exactly. Right? Crop rotation goes in every time. Bushuka Bog and uh, Caracas are good. Back in the days, actually, we weren't playing uh, for Cradle. We were playing crop rotation main deck. I don't know why that was the case. But I certainly remember in the you know, old days of Legacy, Elves wasn't playing for Cradles. Never, I never really played Elves. Maybe I did one tournament, a friend of mine lent it to me. Let's see. TCG decks, Mangucci, Elves, Legacy. Let's see. Another opponent. Yeah, I did. Two times. 13 October 2013. Let's check the list. What place was this? I came third. Gandhi. Death Ray Shaman. I mean, basically just saying cards as today. Just this, yeah, see? Two credle. Two crop rotation, two credle. I'm, I'm unreasonable. Chris and Griff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like nine years ago, and it's basically the same. All right, what we got here? Uh, Mulligan. Not a great hand. Yeah, it's Mulligan. Okay, that's a keep. I want some time to get me a full arrest. Let's go. I think I have to bottom the oof here. Iron, although the name Iron. The name Iron. Maybe means uh, artifacts. Let's take a look. What do they usually play? Oh, actually, they play the mono black. Uh, Last last five hours of Mono Black Discord spell, uh, Helm of Obedience, Curse Crawl. <sighs> Whatever. Still bottoming the oof. Go. Where's the saga turn one? Pass. Once upon a time. Let's get a forest. Forest, Alizar Shepherd, go. I think that's an Ancient Tomb now, usually. Play Saga turn one, that means Ancient Tomb turn two. Okay, Zenith, interesting. So I can go Zenith for Dried Arbor. And then I just have a lot of mana so that I can activate Shepherd next turn. What can Zenith get? I guess I can get the oof <laughs> that I bottomed. No, I think I like the Dread Arbor here. It's very good with Symbiote. Do I offer the trade? Nah. Why Shriek Maw? Um, Shriek Maw is able to be found off once upon a time. That's relevant. Also, you can set in against like white decks as well. 
You need a you need a kill spell for Merc died. That's cheap. As well as being fine in the early game. Yeah. Okay, looks like they activate the side. Let's see if they have a pithing needle. Hopefully they don't. I mean, his last uh, Fibo trophy with with Mono Black has Cur Curl Mox and Curse Scroll. That's it. First negation. Yeah, I don't know if you set it against first. Now, nah, first negation. I mean, yes, yes, it's played, but I don't think Blue Red Delver has has it against you. I mean, maybe. I guess Spell Piers. Spell Piers. Yeah, spell for Splite. Okay, yeah, the good curse is girl. They have six cards in it, so it's not scary. Wasteland. Okay. I can go Heritage Druid, Red Oak, and attack with these. They can double block, actually. I'll kill them both, but I think it's alright. Is it, though? Is it alright? I guess I can return it to hand if they block it. Yeah. Yeah. If they double block the seam the shepherd, I'll return it to hand. Right? Okay, so five, six. Activate. And then I untap return. Take five and then I replay it. And pass. Opponent is on 11. We have the symbiote that protects us from removal spells. I hope they don't add another wasteland, because if they have wasteland, it's annoying. Maybe I can still piece together a win, I don't know. Win <sighs> with six cards, they can see it. Yeah, yeah, next turn it would have been lethal. Alright, GG. Mono Black, do they have Plague Engineer? They have three Plague Engineer, four Fatal Push, four Kokatsu. Bring in the Shriek Maws. Uh, they have 2020, right? Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Um... Hmm. What's bad? Collector Oof? Shriek Maw doesn't kill Engineer. That's true, it doesn't! All right, never mind. Sorry, sorry, I I I forgot. Uh, do I want to take out some one ones? Probably. Bring in some thoughtsies. Maybe endurance is also good. Nah, I like thoughtsies. I think the plan in this game is just to put Progentus into play. Yeah. What a black tree go. Alright, let's go. No, 
Man, this must be the worst end possible. I have both of my creatures and no land. Keep. I think I bought him the bog. Go. Was not booster, yeah, yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge elves fan recently. I'm a huge. Oh wow! Once upon a time. Regenitus, come on! What's this? Man, I I shuffle. Too thin my deck, and I got a Bajuka Bog back in the top. Alright, I guess I take a fetch land. That's easy. Ooh, opposition agent. I put a one to go opposition agent turn two, huh? The other day, I... I went through my commander deck for some reason and I found an opposition agent in it and I clearly remember buying one copy because I couldn't find it anymore. Classic commander deck just eating your cards. <laughs> Alright, I discarded my Thoughtseize, draw, nothing. It's okay, this is the game where I just draw natural order out of nowhere and put Progenitus into play. I don't play ADH. I mean, I don't play ADH, I just had an ADH deck. Actually, I played it last, uh, when was it? Friday. My push deck. One versus one. Fatal push. Okay. And suspend the tutor. Yep. I don't even want to fetch Dried Arbor. Classic! Classic! Buy high, never find! Yeah, exactly. Like 15 euro, I think. Maybe 10, I don't remember. What's that? No. No play engineer. No! I knew I shouldn't have played it! Ma porca merda! Oh, they named elves. Okay. All right, Mangu, let's draw natural order. Hop up now, natural order. That's okay, it's a cantrip. I'll cantrip with my visionary. Hmm, Zenith. I kinda wanna get, um... What do they get with Profane Tutor? What do they get with Profane Tutor? They can get a Plague Engineer on Dried Arbor. I think my best play here is uh, Grace and Zenith for... Um, I guess I can go Grace and Zenith for Grist. I wanna get... I wanna get Avish Reclaimer. Avish Reclaimer can trade with an Engineer. But Zenith can get me Grist. Yeah, I think I think I like to go Grist. Ooh, Curse Scroll. I veil Curse Scroll they can get. Okay, let's see what I got. 30 mana, Plague Engineer number 2. Okay, they're gonna name Dryad, I'm assuming. Okay. I think I'll fetch for deck thinning.
Bro. Hmm. Uh, do I want to go grist now? Hmm. You want to go endurance? Just endurance trade and then go grist? Do I target myself? No, I don't want to. Did I bring in endurance? I don't think I did actually. Yeah, I didn't bring in any endurance. I think I'm still happy with Grist though. Like I go Grist now, chump block, Grist goes to two. And then I tick up, get a Reclaimer. Which is a 2-3, so it's fine. Yeah, I think I want to get Grist now. Maybe I mill an Insect. I didn't. It's bad if they go Fatal Push. <laughs> or a third Plague Engineer. There's a saga, a uh, cowboy. Ay, ay, ay. Bad news. Very, very bad news, chat. I bet. Let's go Zenith for the Reclaimer. And pass. Mill the hoof. <sighs> Let's see if they attack me. They do all trade with engineer. Oh, they offer me to trade with the Dryad Engineer. Okay. I think I take it. What's the point of playing? I think it's their brew, just mono black uh, cards they like. Not bad, Mango. Not bad. Make a token first. Let's play around um, Sudden Edict. Let's get a Progenitus and hope my opponent uh, doesn't find a way to answer it. Boom! For Mana Progenitus, your turn. They can play pretty engineer name Avatar or Hydra. Thanks to Abby Reclaimer as it is, I think. Huh? Okay, they got Chris Scroll, sure. Domination, yeah. They, they better find it soon though, because this progenitus attacks two times. Or the win. Wasteland. Okay. One card in it, so you can pink something with a curse scroll. Alright, what do you have in end? Mm-hmm. Swamp. Cycle. I only die to... I only die to... 
I think Sudden Edict. They drew a card. They play land. Or mana. Helm of Obedience. Okay. Thankfully they didn't have a Dothy Void Walker in play. They pay for, use the helm, and they got a Dried Armor in play. That doesn't do it! GG for the Pro G! Pro G! A point with a double Plague Engineer. Wasn't enough. Was not enough. Man! I played two leagues with Elves. I went 5 0, and I'm currently 3 0. Still hasn't, so I've never picked up a loss yet. Granted, our fun index aren't the best, but um, so good. So good. So many angles of attack for this deck. Yeah, I was very strong. They got the scroll with, uh, oh, you mean uh, with the tutor? Yeah, maybe, maybe they should have got the, the scroll with the, with the, good morning, Didi, how's it going? This league is actually very long. The hoof, the hoof. Mm. Yeah, the elves have been clapping cheeks. Huh? I've never heard of that before, but yeah, they have they have been doing well. Okay, found an opponent. Let's go. Let's go. Sharkaster Mage. Roll the six. Keep. We got almost two lands. Almost three lands. Zenith for one. I don't even care about uh, resolving once upon a time. To counter it, so be it. Island Shadow Spear. Okay, that's Mono Blue. Mono Blue is a very good matchup for Elves. Draw. I think I want to pick up the Alizar Shepherd. Mm. Alizar Shepherd makes me play around Chalice of the Void. Although if they had Chalice of the Void, I would have most likely just cast it on turn one. So I think I'd rather just play Cradle. Just take Cradle here. Zenith can get the Collector Oof. Although I don't think I can get it on turn two. Yeah, I think I just get my Dryad. I don't have anywhere to go. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, Olerade. Olerade came second uh, this Sunday. Although his list was different. Ole list was different. He was playing with uh, Natural Sentinel and Queer Ranger. Instead, I'm playing with... Um, the Elvish Reclaimer and Collector Oof. 
Like some more mid-range. Oh, it's you? Herod, hello? Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Good game, good game. Good game, good game. Let me, let me, let me VIP you. That's VIP. Erad Ello. Keep Zenith for Shepherd in case of Chalice. It's just that they went Pedal Island Go, so they don't have Chalice, right? Okay. Now I can go Glimpse. Heritage Druid. Three cards in hand for them. Force Pitch Sigh. Okay. Then I'll go... Heritage Druid. Heritage Druid. Yeah. And next turn I have the, the Lethal. Maybe Alos or Shepherd is still better than Dryad. Maybe. Maybe we should have done that. But I can just counter. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, goes to two. Looks like it's a Kappa Cannon here. And that's turn they die. They have no cards in hand, and they can't even draw. Force, because they only have one card. Okay, so if I go Arbor, yeah. I don't know how much damage it is, but it must be a lot of damage. Oh, actually, they don't die. Huh. They don't die. Oh, no, they did. Zero. Nove? But oh, que culo. The 19 exact? They dealt to themselves one damage with the force? <laughs> Woo! I mean, may yeah, no, cause I would have lost the race easily. Like, they go Shadow Spear. Math is for blocker. In this case, math was for magic online. If the opponent had blocked the hoof, they wouldn't have died. But maybe they would have died afterwards. All right, great win. Uh, okay, what now? Mah. I don't know. Should I even cyborg anything? Maybe, maybe the grist. Grist sucks. Taking the Mindbrook trap. Mindbrook trap good in this matchup. I mean. I don't know, maybe like one thought sees. <laughs> I would have followed my bad math. Yeah. I don't think there is anything else other than the Grist that's bad. Everything else seems pretty good. I don't have any answers to Chalice. You know what? I'm gonna bring you one Mindbreak Trap. I feel it. I feel that one Mindbreak Trap. Uh... Okay, we got other Shepherd, Natural Order. That's a good end. Doo -doo -doo. Turn one cradle, go. Yeah, that's that's the play. Is that a sigh? Chalice on one? I hope they have Chalice on one. It does nothing against the Shepherd. Well, obviously they can have this member for Shepherd. Looks like it's sigh. Oh, Thoughtcast. Okay. 
Draw two versus bubble. Another thought cast, maybe. One mana this time. No, it's something else. That chalice thought monitor. Okay, remember the thought monitor. It's a little weird how, how the interaction works, but you check affinity before you suck the pedal. All right, the four cards. So my uncomfortable friend and pass. You want me to fetch for Dry Arbor? Uh, I don't like it. They have this member on it, and then it's bad. I just can't cast a spell. Don't be too greedy. Just remember that the goal isn't to do fun stuff, it's to win the game. Now, opponent's drawing a lot of cards. The question is, are those cards able to answer turn three natural order? And go symbiote. I can go Elvish Visionary. With a Bouncing Shepherd. Oh, this member. Okay. They have four cards. Do they have a force? They don't. Thank God. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Next thing I can go order, although it's not going to be lethal. I guess it is. They're in 12 because of the... Ah, uh, they have Ether Spell above though. Okay, four cards and they pass. Draw. Classic. The classic. It's okay. I can go Visionary, another Cradle, Order. Get yeah, Progenitus. Let's see what they do. Actually, they can go bounce the Alozer Shepherd Force of Will. I didn't. I didn't consider that. That's not good. Should have considered that. Mango. I did not consider that. I should have played differently. I don't know. How should I have played? Maybe just go Glimpse, Visionary, maybe that was better. Could be. I mean, they need a blue card because they can't Arcus Force. They need blue mana for this and Arcus Force, so they have only five mana. Maybe thinking about just bouncing the hoof when I tutor it up. Okay, they have one card in end. I got a 13, I still have a high life total. Opponent doesn't have three cards in end.
They go to three life. Let's see. Chalice of the Void on one. Come on, let's draw just any fetch land. Literally any. No, that's not true. Never mind. I don't know. What do I draw? Dried Arbor. Okay. Well, I can go dry to Arbor. A pass. No, I guess I can find Alizar Shepherd. So unfortunate that I have Behemoth in my hand. Very unfortunate. But maybe with Progenitus is enough to win. How much damage is this? Five. No, oh, four. They have two cards in end only. Yeah, for this should be enough. Hoping it resolves. The hoof. Last game, Progenitus won a game that the Hoof wouldn't have won. So that's something. Okay, I got a 7. And then what? Another Chalice? This member of my Dread Arbor will go to 1 life. So I'll play Symbio. No, 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 no. I'll fetch for what? Dried Arbor? Hmm. I don't know why I fetch, but yeah, whatever. Dried Arbor and pass because I can't do anything. Ah, put him put him play very well. How many dismembers? I played I played three. They drew all three. Top twenty two cards. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, so I go to four. I put play very well around my order. Okay. Sacrifice two. Opter to draw a card. I still don't have the guaranteed order. I need to draw a land to do that. Oh no, never mind. I do, I do, I do. I do have it. I do have order next turn. I still win the game, right? Order progenitus. Is there a better way to win?
No, right? It has to be order progenitus. They have two cards in hand. I hope it's not a force blue card. It isn't. Put in a one on two cards, one life total. They sacrifice two artifact to draw a card, I think. But yeah. No, oh, the, the three dismember. Funny how the life total in the end didn't matter. Like they could they, they were at one, they could have been a ten. Oh yeah, force doesn't that's true. They need force of negation. Right, that's true. Force of will doesn't do it. I don't know if they brought in Force of Negation. I mean, it's not the worst. I honestly don't think there's a way. Didn't suck Thopter, that would have been alive. Why? You wanna block my Thopter? You wanna block my progenitors with the Thopters? Alright, good game. Okay, chat. We have another winning in. Sorry, winning whatever match point for with elves. Oh, just attacking. Oh, I understand. No, but at at two blocker, because in that way I sacrifice. No, but I sacrifice the the dry arbor. So I have a one one, and I have a progenitus at two blockers. Damage in the air. Oh yeah, this thing doesn't have flying. You know what happened? You know what happened? I, th I thought is at flying for some reason. You know what happened? I I think my opponent played around so much about Crater Hoof. They played so mu so much around Crater Hoof that they sacrificed the Thopters. I don't know. Yeah, wonder why. I don't know. Hello, Qualke. How's it going? All right, chat. Last week, I played Elves, and I went 5-0. This week, I play Elves, and I'm, I am 4-0. And I, and I make tons of mistake every single game. I make tons of mistake. Imagine playing this deck well. But yeah, remember, if you want to check out the, the previous 5-0, you can find it on the YouTube channel of Channel Fireball. You go to Channel Fireball YouTube channel. They have a legacy playlist, and I'm here, Legacy Elves. Okay. Let's go. Final match for the trophy. On the play. With Progenitus. This ends pretty bad. I think I'm mulliganing. Okay, vamonos. You got your volcanic island by Zen? Nice. The European dual lands going all the way to New Zealand. Let's go. Once upon a time, what do I find? I have no idea. Uh, whatever. By the way, one thing I love about uh, streaming on Twitch is when people come up and go like, Hello from, I don't know, New Zealand. I love that so much. One day, one day I'll go to New Zealand, maybe for, for Zen's wedding, if he'll ever marry. I'm certainly not going there for magic anymore. Okay, we're finally playing against Blue Red Delver. So in the 4-0 in the four -oh bracket, we got paired against uh, the dreaded uh, Blue Red Delver. I think I'm offering the trade. No, maybe not. 
No, maybe not. Next turn I can go Cradle. And almost activate it. I, I can't, I can't activate it. No, 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 I mean, it's fine. I mean, once I've said it, but... When people just say, you know, come up and say hello from uh, Argentina. Cool. Because I don't know if I'll ever visit Argentina in my life. Or, you know, New Zealand. Next, uh, next month, in a few weeks, I'll go to Croatia for a holiday. In the Croatia's beaches. Are right, you done shuffle? You play Steam Vents. Playing Steam Vents means they don't have another land, and then they attack me. But that's okay, that's why I didn't want to trade, because I, I think we can win the race with a Shepherd. Draw. I wish for a glamour. Okay. I didn't want to go Cradle or Arbor because... Yeah. I don't know. Next turn, I, I can't attack for a million damage. And uh, Cradle is uncountable. Of course, it's a land. And the ability is uncountable. You can stifle it, I guess. You think Legacy is a good spot right now? Very much. Very much. The only problem of Legacy is the people that complain about it on Twitter. That's the only problem it has. If you just don't have a Twitter account, Legacy is great. If you don't have a Twitter account and you can play Proxy, Legacy is great. Hello, Get Smart. How's it going? How's the topic of the week for the podcast? So, they attack, they have to, and then we're gonna boom, bada boom, and they take 21. I hope. If they have Bolt, maybe they don't take 21, but... Oh, Zenith. Do I have something nasty to get with Zenith? Not really. Let's just go Cradle. Activate Shepherd. They have to bolt something, like the Reclaimer, for example. Endurance, I don't have it. Delete Twitter, enjoy life. No, I don't think so. I think if you follow the right people, Twitter is great. I don't know, it's just kind of like the news for magic for me, so I follow it a lot and I enjoy it. It's just that legacy, legacy Twitter is not... Uh, very healthy, I think. Okay, your dad is visiting from Australia. Nice. Bolt isn't enough. I still have 16. Well then. Can we add another credit with Reclaimer? Yeah, yeah, you can. But it's legendary. And it comes to play tapped. It's not very good. Alright, opponent survives with a couple of bolts. Um, should I activate Reclaimer? Do what? I can activate Reclaimer. A get what, Bajukabog? But then I can't go Zenith, although... Mm. So I can get Bazooka Bog. In that case, my opponent can't play Merc Tide, and they just die, right? Yeah, I think I think I'll bog them. I think I'll bog you, opponent. Are you ready to be bogged? Now they can block, though. Hmm, I didn't consider that. But bet. Intanto, you take ten, and then you're good. I didn't consider that I could block here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone Zenith. Should have just gone Zenith, I think. Should have just... Uh, 
No, maybe maybe not even cast Zenith. Just attack. You go to five. You have to attack me. I go to five. I only die to literally two lightning bolts. You have a lightning bolt. Where, where do you go? You go face? No way. Am I actually dying to double bolt? Wow, you found four bolts? Ma che cazzo! You found four lightning bolts? Va bene, okay. That's okay. Good game. Good game. That's fine. This is a good matchup for Cyborg. When I played um, when I played this matchup in paper, I lost uh, mostly old game ones, and then I won every single game Cyborg. So, I'm confident that I'm gonna be winning the match. And I'm gonna get that trophy. On the play, yes. Keep. Let's begin. I chop a bayou. And play once upon a time. Mm, four lands. I'll, uh, hmm. Is Bog better than the rest? No, probably not. Go. Okay. Hmm. For instance, Zenith. It can get days though. Hmm. Wonder if I should just go Shriek Maw now. No, probably not. I'll offer the trade. And then I'll go Symbiote under uh days. Red Arbor go. I want to cast Endurance with the Zenith. Inside out days? Yeah, it could be. Actually, they have a card that could break me here. Okay. The end festivities. Okay. Bro. Hmm. Limps, not good. Um, do I like to go for a Grist? No. Do I like to go for an Endurance? Mm, yes. See if they have a daze or a force. And th this is honestly the reason why I'm so confident post sideboard. Because with the endurances, you're really just very hard for that deck to deal with. And they can only deal with it with um uh Merc Tide, that's why you have the Shrake Maws. And next time I can even go Glimpse Shriek Maw if I have 6 mana. They go Wasteland on my Cradle. That's okay. They pass. I'm gonna hold Shriek Maw for the Merc Tide. I'll go Glimpse. And I'll go Reclaimer. Draw a card. I don't mind cycling Glimpse this way. I wanted to play Reclaimer anyway. And I attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shriekma works with it. Limbs. Uh, pass. That fetch land is my third land for Reclaimer. 
Clover doesn't flip. Depliteration. Yeah, but I want to get the Dread Arbor. Only good if I draw Cradle, so I don't think I want to, no. You got Ponder, okay. They're, they can't get Delirium this turn. Okay, maybe again, I don't want to get Dried Arbor, so I'm just untapping here. I do want to fetch, just draw a card. Nice, very strong Reclaimer. Now I am attacking. I think I'm attacking with the Heritage Druid as well. Yeah. So they take 7 damage down to 8. They go submerge. Alright, strong. Very strong. Yeah, that's just uh, kills my kills my creature for free. Ooh. Uh buy you. They take 4. Mm -mm -mm. Now, do I want to go endurance? I think so, yeah. This way I slow roll the... This way I slow roll the... I slow the... The Merc Tide. Oh wow, they have Force of Will. Pitch Force of Will. Okay then. Go ahead. They flip with Brainstorm. And they cast it. Yeah, I'm just gonna have six. I have two cards, one of which is it. And the festivities. Okay. And the other card is Brainstorm. Thankfully, they didn't find Delirium. Alright. They're on 10. I'm on 13. Draw. Strong. Very, very strong. Am I attacking here? I could go to one and then die to a bolt. I don't think I want to attack here. I play a double reclaimer and pass. Go. They have brainstorming in so they can easily get delirium and then just bolt me, I'm dead. I don't know, maybe I should have attacked. Okay, they go brainstorm. The thing is that if they get delirium now, they have to chump attack. And I think I'm fine. Let's see, is that a merc? Or is that an iteration? One of the two would be, any of the two would be bad. Alright, it's merc. They have one card in hand, and uh, we're gonna shriek mod that one. Freak mod Merc. And then I'm for sure attacking with these. Opponent can do like a double block. Mm. Uh, what about attacking with all though? Mm. Hello, DRB. If I attack with all, they go double block Endurance, maybe. But I'm fine with that, right? Yeah, I think now I'm happy to attack with all. And if they take it all and they bolt me, I'm not dead to that one. So they need to have something else other than bolt. Okay, so they do with ponder. They shuffle their deck. That's a good news. And they concede. Okay, third game. For the trophy, let's go. If we win 
Endless glory, 5-0, a lot of chesties. If we lose, go to lunch, sad. Also because I have a stomach ache, so I'm gonna eat white steamed rice, which is sad. I don't wanna go to a sad lunch without a trophy, so I'm just gonna play my best magic now. Get ready for it, chat. Get ready for it. Vamos! Yeah, rice, rice by itself is just the saddest, I know. I know, but if I eat something else, then my, my stomach hurts. Today and yesterday. Alright, Mulligan, Mulligan, Mulligan. Good end, please. Okay. Hmm. What do I bottom here? Can I bottom a Zenith? Yeah, I kinda wanna bottom a Zenith here. Maybe not, maybe just bottom Dryad and go turn one Zenith. And they bolt it. And then I die. Hmm. Okay, let's bottom Dryad. I'll hopefully draw another land. Nice, I like a forest. Let's go turn one line or elf. And pass. And pass. They flipped with lightning bolt. Porca merda, come flip with lightning bolt, ma dio bono. 17. And they bolt my Delver, my Dryas, sorry. No, they don't? Okay, cool. Draw. I'll go Reclaimer. And I'll go Cradle. So I can play Endurance in combat. Hoping my opponent doesn't find a lightning bolt. Oh, sorry, force of will. Have I played Mono White in Pioneer? I plan on doing that. Uh, I plan on doing that uh, next uh, on on th on Thursday. Don't, please don't counter. Please don't counter. Please don't counter. No, they have force. No, they have force. No, they have force. Cazzo. 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 Yeah, all my leaks go on YouTube. Draw. We need to draw well. Well. Visionary. Mm, 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 mm. Draw. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Glimpse of nature. Symbiote. Draw once upon a time. Untap. Return. Draw two cards. That's it. Tutte terre, porca merda. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Go. Three cards you have. Eh, no, Mangu, no. Eh, GG, 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 GG. GG, GG, GG. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can't win them all. We should have just won game one. That quadruple bolt was, was, was unlikely. Attenzione, Bojuka Bog. Bojuka Bog. 
Maybe there's a chance. Was that? Gold. Where? On the visionary? Weird. Mangu, we can still win chat. If I draw endurance next turn, we can still win. I believe that they don't have lightning bolt. They have a uh, Murktai Regent in end. Trust me. Submerge? Not bad. Can I choose where to put it? No, it goes on top. Oh, that's terrible then. Okay. I got a two, but we're not dead. Or am I dead? Am I dead? Do you have any out of this once upon a time? Not right. Oh. Wait. Upkeep, once upon a time. Found uh, nothing relevant. Draw. And be out. And we die. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, 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 Yeah, Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw would have done it. Shriek Maw. Sag. It's okay. 4 1, still very good. Still very good 4 1. This deck is so, so, so strong. So strong, this deck. Very happy with it. Very happy to have uh, purchased this deck. Uh, I only miss the Alistair Shepherd, and I'm gonna buy in Bologna, and then I'm gonna be rocking this deck. Probably playing it for seasons too. End of the stream, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Dakoval.